Hello, I'm James Ball from the Lewis Bow Tribe, former leader for my nation. But uh, I went into uh, uh, business here after leadership and got into the marijuana industry. Seeing that uh, we're a sovereignty nation, I I utilized I utilized that for my business and seeing the RCMP coming in like this, it wasn't it wasn't right for them to shut shut our operation down. You know, I told them, "You guys are in the wrong." I'm sorry, officer, and he wouldn't give me a chance to chance to uh, explain where I was coming from. He more or less told me to shut up, Mister Bull. <laughs> you know. I was watching them. I pull up to their yard, our operation, where, where, where we're operating, and there's an RCP standing there with a, a sight, a, an assault rifle. What the hell's going on? <laughs> he was holding it up in his ear, just walking around in a uh, garden of road. And why is he, why do you have to go to that measure? You know, we're not going to be, dro- as if, I'd be coming driving up to my operation with a with a pistol or a rifle. No, that's not me. We went to INAC and asked if we could start our own business uh, business on the nation, and they told us it's up to you. It'd be nice if you could be generous enough to go tell the chief and council what you're up to. But really, it's none of their business. They told us. So we just went ahead and uh, started up. And now they're shutting us down. So I don't know, I just, I'm just kind of fed up with the RCMP, the way they ne- neglect the, na- the nations across Canada, across Turtle Island. And it's not right for them. I, I have a chief right across Turtle Island, I started meeting hereditary chiefs right across from Vancouver. I have a chief up in uh, New Brunswick right now. We're having discussions and starting business up with them also. So, you know, I I took a lot of my time to get where we're at and for the RCMP to try to stop me. It's time. I'm sorry, Mr. RCMP. I, I'm not going to listen this time. Why so I'm I'm gonna open up tomorrow. No matter what they say. See what they can do. I'll put up a fight. We'll put up a good fight. All my product that was in the that we uh sell at the dispensary, it's locked up, but we took it. We had a bunch of product growing at different stages, and they took them. They took our lights, so we can uh, we can run our up our grow up now. But it's not going to stop us. We we'll probably get going growing again here right away. It's just a little damper. Jealousy, a lot of jealousy, probably in this area. They're digging right into my privacy now. You know, I started this on with my partners and for them to try to shut, shut us down, we, we, we did all the steps that was necessary to open up. We met people. We went to places. We were across Canada doing what we we're doing today and for them to come do, stop us on our land, on our time. You know, that wasn't right. Our employment rate is so low here in Muskogee's, but now that we've opened up, we have uh, students that are going to school that are taking time to come. Uh, we employ them on their free time. They, they come and do a little trimming or else if they want to learn how to grow. We'll give them uh, a chance to come into our growing room and start learning how to grow. And we give them a, 
the benefit to uh, be employed at our operations. But so we have partners. Like I told you, I have partners in Saskatchewan and BC, and the nations are uh, benefiting. This this plant is a medicine; it ain't a drug. I have uh, clients, old grandmas that are buying pounds for their grandchildren to get them off the opioid addiction their kids are on, the hard drugs their kids are on. They come see us. We sell them. We give. We get them the product they need. We also have edibles that are very good for addic- for addictions. That we know the uh, patients of this uh, are drugs they've been addicted to forever. You know, and I've been to workshops. I've been to seminars, and I see a lot of people coming out of the closet and telling their side of the story about this uh, miracle plant that we're producing now. So I don't know why they're shutting us down. The RCMP even told us they'd sooner see us open than the, the liquor stores. And some of them RCMP even came out and told us, yeah, we're, uh, I've been a user for a number of years, and I believe you, Mr. Bull. They know it's not a drug no more. But why are they still doing what they're doing? We're a sovereign nation here in Musquatchies. And it's up to us what we want to do on our, on our nations, on our lands. It doesn't, the federal government have no say whatsoever on our, on our, on our traditional lands. And I'm standing my ground this round. If I go to jail, I go to jail. That's all they're gonna do to me. You know, ain't the first time this Indian's been in there. I tried to avoid all that. Trying to go legal. I'm doing it legally now. And still they're barking up my, down my alley. <laughs>